Okay. Okay. So this dude is gonna come toward me. And I need to get him to that. So I wonder if I just go towards that, if it will attract him to that. So let's just try that. If not, maybe I can grab him. Hey! 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 Shields at 95%. Get in there! Get, get down! Get down here! Get down! Shields at 50%. Ah. Oh, I can throw him! Ooh! Okay. Oh my god, it worked! Okay, so I got those ones. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, let me go... Health back up. So those are alternating. Alright, so those aren't a worry right now. I want my booster so I can go faster. But here we are. Bring my body over. Alright, and then this should heal health me up. Yes! Boom! Okay. Alright, so I want to angle it toward the other ticks. Like that, and then move it along. Go! Winning, winning, and then go all the way down. Yes! Okay, so I think I can grab the other battery from over in here. Because I remember I threw it before I died the last time. Okay, come here. Yes. And then, do I have to get those two as well? Because we have another eye beam here. Okay. I think that might be a thing that I can do. Yeah, because I can bring it along this. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. Let's just get this in here. Come on. Come on. You want to go in there? You wanna go. You wanna go in there. There we go. That didn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna try and get those ones to those ones. Alright. That's what I'm gonna do. Turn these. Don't get too crazy. Because I uh, don't know if I can fling them off. Okay. <clears throat> now let's push them back this way. Just doing a little tick harvesting. Don't mind me. Oh, close to them. I need to get them near the door, maybe. Maybe just push it all the way over and then just go the other direction. Okay. So, let's go to this one here. Handle, Jack. All right, that's, that's what I was supposed to do. I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick infested corridors would make anyone an expert. Actually, it would probably just kill them. Either way, well done. Okay, let's just move them back over here so they are out 
of the way. All right, so right there looks good. So this, oh, maybe that's the battery I need for that, maybe. Okay. Now it looks like I just gotta... I want my boosters so I can go faster. Let's just focus on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Okay. I want to get my little jet boosters. Okay, and then I think we can go in the store. Then we're good. Slow she goes, because I don't have my little booster that I can go. I think that was the sound that it made. Just slowly coasting my way over here. Get out of here. And you go in. There we go. Online. There we go. What's in here? Nothing yet. Ooh, I see a tick. Oh, and live. I see live. Live. Okay, so we're back on the other side. All right, with the other. Slow she goes. Jack, I don't want... you made it. I made Is it. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Do you know, you could help him out there, right? I believe so. Okay, where's this other one? This one's over here somewhere. If you could lure the ticks into this disposal unit, you may be able to eject them into space. Bugger off, you nasty little... Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? Oh. The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. Ah, tick, you piece of shit. Tick to All right. Way to go, Jack. Okay. Just one more to go. All right. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh, these things are disgusting. Okay, bring it over. Bring her over. Uh, the creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we'll have, he can use that to our advantage. Have the captain bring her over. Come on. Oh, I have to talk to you about it. Olivia, Olivia, look at me. Look at me, Olivia. Liv, go to the door. Will do. This door. Come on, get in. You wanna get in. Get in, the garbage shoot thingy. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 get in. 95%. Get in, get in, get in. Oh my god. Do you see that thing? It just came right at me. What a dick. You. I got you, buddy. Did you see me? I slam dunked him in there. That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. How do I do that? Oh. I shut it off. Come Appreciate on you. in. Are you all right? Hmm. Of course. Of course. These reconstructed shells are practically identical to my original design. I hardly notice a difference. Hardly. Hardly. Well, there may be one or two servos that are off by a micrometer or so. I'm sure you'll manage. 
The important thing is we're finally clear of the biomass. Um, Captain Rhodes? What is it? More biomass. Oh, Juno. You're kidding me right now with this. Yeah, Juno. You're really bad at your job. Like you got you got one job. Just just one job. No, you're not kidding. Not to worry, Captain. I already have a solution. While sorting through the station's database, I managed to locate a set of design specs for a protective EVA suit. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply. We'll still want to get you to a stable environment as soon as possible. More importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. I've already queued up the schematic. All you have to do is enter the fabricator, and we can begin. Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. Yeah, I promise okay. it doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt, go. It doesn't hurt, you should go. Go, Olivia, go. <laughs> Captain, you have to hold still. Are you alright? Yeah. Okay. You can't Do see you know, you kind of warned me this was going to feel so weird. How would I know? Oh, hey, that's cool. You're like Iron Man with those colors. Well, yeah. What do you think? Pretty cool. Step up, wouldn't you say? Yes. I like it. A marked improvement over your old EVA suit. My old EVA suit was being held together by duct tape. I certainly hope this was an improvement. Come on, it let's is. go. You first. I'm just gonna ride your back. That's Give what me she a moment said. to open the door. Go. Oh, she hit me off. <laughs> Fine. Oh, it doesn't even the hit her. just up ahead. Lame. Went to go smack her ass. I almost what a letdown. I'm nauseating this stuff. It's up close. No cause for alarm. Your suit's filtration system is designed specifically to handle airborne contaminants. You'll remain safe as long as direct contact is avoided. I was more worried about my eyes, actually. Is the ship not connected to the station? Given the risk of contamination, the ship remains severed from the facility. Only under the most extreme circumstances... Uh, I'd say this qualifies. Yeah, it qualifies. Of course, Captain. Stand by while I extend the gangway. Once inside, I suggest making your way to the bridge. From there... Yeah, I'm familiar. From the cockpit, I can use the number two engineering panel to cycle the reactor and bring the ship online. That's correct. Juno, are you not coming with us? All the power disruptions have rendered me unable to connect to the ship's mainframe. Once the power levels normalize, I should be able to join you on board. Good luck. After you. Ladies first. We going Odd. in? What are the odds? What do you mean, Liv? Oh, nothing. It's just... I, I grew up on a ship almost exactly like this one. It was part of the Solar Colonial Initiative. How long do you suppose it's been in service? No idea. We'll just have to find someone and ask. Atmospheric pressure normal. Oxygen levels normal. Well, that's promising. Hello? Hello? Oh. Anyone here? 
I think we're it. Nothing. I think it's just us, Jack. Terraforming equipment. Well, let's have a look, shall we? It's a bit worn down, but it appears we are on the Argos. Reported. It reads 2124. This ship was only two years old when we left. This appears to be an old travel poster. I wonder how many settlements this ship has visited. Posters like that were hard to miss when I was growing up. Just about every planet and colony had their own. Seems to be in pretty decent condition too, especially for being four centuries old. Same could be said for us. There are a multitude of emblems, presumably from previous missions. I don't think this ship was ever decommissioned. See anybody in the bridge? The cockpit controls are this way. Oh, I can't talk about the other thing. Damn. Bridge doors unpowered. Is there another way? Pioneer class ships like this have only one hatchway to the bridge. So, no. We'll need to get resourceful. Let's look around. The crude nature of this repair is a bit troubling. Oh, I don't know. Bit of character never killed anyone. What about loss of atmosphere? All right. Fair point. These cargo containers are designated for terraforming equipment. Probably used to store spare parts for Atmo processors. Spent a lot of time around tech like this. Because of your parents? Yeah. Both mum and dad work terraforming missions, carting us back and forth across the system. My brother liked to play hide and seek in the ship's cargo hold. At least that was until he got stuck inside one of the crates. Dad was livid. Not at him, at me, for not watching out for him. That was right before. Right before what? Before I was sent off to the academy. Well, this one's open. Well, let me report it. Let's keep looking. With the bridge door unpowered, we'll need to try our luck in engineering. Well, the engineering is a good way to start. There's a thing in here. You coming? Liv, I found an unusual device. Unusual? Be right back. You coming? No? What are you waiting for? What? Is there something else I'm supposed to find in here? Engineering's through here. That's our best bet. Okay. Do I need to let you go first? There is both an activation pod and a fabricator. That's odd. The fabricator is definitely not original to the ship. Likely taken from the station. Given the vessel's apparent age, perhaps it has been refitted. Yeah, oh, that's really Probably several times over at this point. 
What in the... Jack? Come I see already them. saw it. I already saw it. You're late to the party. I know these Pioneer class ships pretty well. But this equipment... I don't recognize any of it. And more importantly, what the hell is that? Good question. I thought you'd know. Well, something. Or maybe it goes in there. I don't know. I don't know future tech I'm like you. It's the reactor. Given its size and location, it seems likely. But I'm entirely unfamiliar with this design. As am I. I say we turn it on and find out. If it works, right. the ship should start generating its own power again. Well, Which would open give us stable life support. Exactly. I'll see if there's a way to turn it on directly. Do you want to give the room a once-over in case there's an external control? There's this thing here. Oh, Jack! That console just came on. What did you do? I pulled something. And I gotta pull this eventually, I think. The wires feed into some sort of switch. Okay, well, give it a try. You can switch the reactor. Do I have to hold it? I think I have to hold it. I don't know. Wait. It's... Ah, oh, here we go. Unfortunately, not controls for the reactor. It's a console for a cargo lift. Alright, well, hold it on. I'll try lowering it. See if it leads to something useful. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Biomass threat detected. Containment protocols engaged. Jack, come look at this. They got ticks. These canisters are holding ticks in, in some sort of stasis. There is a device on top. Oh, right. It's emitting some sort of energy field. Could the field be keeping them docile? I think you're right. Look, they have no idea we're here. No. Do you copy? Who was... Jack? Y you can hear that, right? I'm not right. daft. Right, You're not daft. It would appear Juno is not alone after all. Juno, respond. What's happening over there? This... This is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Who are you? Olivia Rhodes? What are you doing on my ship? Your ship? Yes, my ship. What are you doing out of the habitat? We lost power. Juno brought us here to try and get life support. Never mind, just, just stay where you are. I'll be there as soon as I finish rebooting the ship to power grid. Alan, out. Wait. Jack, if he reboots the power grid, what would that mean for these containment canisters? Well, let's try and push him back up. If they How's lose that? power, let's try and put him back up. We should find out from farther away. Okay, put it back up. Nothing wrong with being a bit cautious. Okay. Containment protocols engaged. No, no. Damn it. Come on, push it back up. We're put it back in. up. No, no, no. Put it, put it back up. Come on. Don't worry, Liv. We have an outstanding track record in difficult situations. <laughs> Always the optimist. All right, so go All back right. over here and put Plan the things B. back up. Let's send them back up. Yes. I've got the lift controls. Get Kay. me power again. I got you I'll the start power. The lift as soon as the console's active. All right, it's active. Got it. Sending lift now. Come on, come on, come on. Power cycle initiated. No, we're not going to make it. Oh, really? Power initializing. Shit. Um, um, I can't let you in. I don't know how to let you in. I, oh my god. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, good call, good call, good call, good call. 
Oh my god. What do I do? Oh wait. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh wait. Okay, okay, and then this one does the other thing. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay, hopefully this works. Reaction core primed and ready for Uh, hang tight. Oh my god. Okay. Thanks, Jack. I tried. That was freaky. That was too close. That was so freaky. Of course, then. reading unidentified spatial anomaly in this sector. Cross-check Atlas database for similar phenomena. Acknowledged. No records found. Recommend mission aboard. Negative. Maintain course. The Kronos 2 remains priority. Acknowledge. Delta actual. 13? Delta 13? You appear to be in distress. Who is Delta 13? I will take your response as confirmation. Delta 6, is there a problem? I suppose that depends, Andrew. Does Delta 13 often forget their own designation? Athena, 13 appears to be malfunctioning. Please advise. Possible EM interference from the announcement. Electromagnetic event detected. That was interference from the anomaly. Affirmative. Recommend all units perform cursory systems check. Proceed. Units, please verify your operational status. Delta Actual. Online. Delta 9. <laughs> Online. Delta 6. Online. Delta 13. Uh, Online. Online. Confirmed. Delta I'm normal. Appears to have recovered. Uh, the I am so normal. Temporary. Recommend monitoring unit for further malfunctions. Peace. I come in peace. Delta 6. Delta 13 is your responsibility until further notice. Acknowledged. Engaging chaperone protocol. Delta 13. Chaperone. Please confirm. Ah. Confirmed. Confirmed. Excellent. Command hierarchy verified. Be advised, approaching Kronos 2 mining facility. Distance, 4,800 meters. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Did she say we are approaching the Kronos 2? That's destroyed. Affirmative. The station went dark several days ago. We're here to determine why. Uh... The station was destroyed when an unknown vessel arrived through temporal displacement. The ensuing debris impacts resulted in catastrophic damage. Yeah. That is an oddly specific theory. It's not a theory. I was there. Delta Actual. Short-range communications have intercepted a pre-recorded distress call from the Kronos 2 captain. Don't check through. Told ya. Tank command and you're out there. This is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a devil storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. <laughs> Hey, what did I just tell you? D -d -d Message repeat. Fascinating. Indeed. Cause I'm a time traveler. Flexibility alert. Sensors to got in another body. In area. Isolate and enhance. I mean, I look cool. Identify. No matching records. The design suggests weaponization. 
Threat assessment and determined. Are there other ships in the area? Skinning. The SCI Ithaca and accompanying fleet are on course to pass within 47 kilometers of this location. That's too close. We need to establish a warning beacon. No civilian vessel should. Davina, report. That's the thing. That's the thing. Warning. Electromagnetic event imminent. What? That was unconventional. Recommend maintaining a minimum safe distance from the anomaly. Acknowledge. Begin deceleration for deployment. Prioritize threat assessment. Initiating emergency deceleration. Vectoring to nearest device. Deceleration complete. Be advised, the nearest device is directly off the port bow. Understood. Delta 9, take point with me. Deploy recon sacks. Affirmative. Beginning assessment. Secondary objective is to Delta 9. Beacon. And Delta actual. Oil. Remaining Delta units deploy now. That's S13. Okay. Recon sack 3 indicates the device may be a form of torpedo. Moving to secure. Let's get moving. After you. Biological agents detected. Warning. Third electromagnetic event imminent. Anomaly pulse detected. All units brace for impact. Something's happened. I... I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. I went into I another body. I went into out. another robot body. Your logs are flooded with all this... bizarre data. Delta Squad, bio-torpedoes, something called the Ithaca. Jack, what is all this? What's going on? Liv, I saw the Kronos. I saw our old station. Come again? I was on a ship, a shuttle. There were other Echo units, a military detachment sent to investigate what happened to the Kronos. Okay. Maybe you're not so all right after all. Called that one a little too early. It's not a malfunction. I was there. I was home. Okay. I believe you. Listen, there's... There's something you need to know. While you were out, I had a chance to meet with the captain of this ship. The man we heard over the comms? His name is Dr. Harlan. He said... He told me... Liv, what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> you know what? It's, it's probably better if, if you just see it for yourself. We can get a closer look at your memory archive while we're at it. Come on, follow me. Mm. Step on the ship's power grid disabled the insulation field, allowing the kids to escape. Listen, this Dr. Harlan isn't what you might call the cheeriest of souls. He might take some getting used to. Juno, I have Jack. Can you let us up? Let us up. I did warn you the station's generator was temperamental. And how much longer can a ship operate on emergency power? Maintaining our current energy draw? A few hours. A few hours? Dr. Harlan? Jack, you finally recovered. I was beginning to think the blast from the FTL had obliterated your neural matrix. Oh, so, I thought so. You're the android. I the am the android. android. Yes. My name is Jack. So I've been told. Jack, this is Dr. Harlan. My administrator. You're the one who is keeping us confined in the hab. I am. And before you ask, no. I'm not the least bit sorry for it. 
I did what I did for your own safety, if that wasn't painfully obvious by now, as well as to protect the integrity of my work. And what sort of work do you do? Dr. Harlan is a geneticist specializing in the study of biomass forms. Specifically the study of how to eliminate biomass forms. Correct. Dr. Harlan, I need you to show Jack what you showed me. I have work to do. He's your android. You explain it to him. He needs to see it. Captain, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Are you certain you want to see this again, Captain? Just pull it up. Very well. What exactly am I looking at? The future. All the orange you're seeing on the map? That's all biomass. That's how far it's spread. To date, the infection has consumed approximately 56% of the habitable solar system. Including Earth. How did all this happen? It starts with us. With what? us? With the destruction of the Kronos. 7 October, 2126. Your station, the Kronos 2, is almost completely destroyed when an unknown vessel suddenly appears in your sector. The Astraea. Correct. When the Astraea traveled back to our time, it brought the biomass with it. And when we left... The infection stayed behind. We're starting to see where this is going. In the days following the incident, a fleet of Atlas survey ships unknowingly passed through the infected zone. Most of the fleet's crew complement is consumed by the biomass. The infected fleet proceeds along its predetermined course toward Earth. One by one, the now crippled vessels collide with the planet's surface, unleashing a global infestation. Humanity has no defense. Billions of people. Most of the planet. Just... gone. The That's remnants of humankind thoughts. are scattered across the solar system. But without any means to combat the spread of the biomass, it's only a matter of time. All those people. In truth, the initial death toll would likely have been higher had it not been for the captain of the Ithaca, who managed Wait. to... The Ithaca? The Ithaca was the flagship of the returning fleet. Ithaca? I've seen that name before. Hardly surprising. I remember it as well. I heard it when I was in the past. When you were what? I'm a time traveler. That's where I saw it. In your memory logs. I've got the data right here. Look. Jack, would you mind running us through what we're seeing here? I recall overhearing the ship was expected to arrive in Saturn orbit within a few days. I don't understand. For that to be true, these logs would have to be from 2126. They are. A full three months before the Ithaca crashed on Earth. That is correct. Jack, are you suggesting that you traveled back in time? I know yes. how it sounds. I'm not sure you do. This is why your memory was so fragmented. In the control room. Because you... You went back in time. Not physically. Just my data. My... Consciousness. I believe the FTL accident may have briefly opened another temporal anomaly, disabling my shell and forcing my protocols to transfer to another echo unit. 400 years in the past. Evidently. You believe Jack's account, Captain? It makes sense. A botched FTL jump is the whole reason we're in this mess to begin with. It's the only explanation. That is difficult to dispute. Do you know you're with us? Oh. Apologies, Captain. I was distracted. Something wrong? I'm not sure. Can we access this memory block? Just a sec. Just as I thought. What are we looking at here? 
Some form of weapon I encountered while in the past. Dr. Harlan. Oh, no. As I recall, they're fitted with a form of biomass payload. Oh, lovely. Dr. Harlan. Still, not now. Dr. Harlan, you should really take a look at this. What part of not now do you not understand? What? What is it? The torpedo appears to be undetonated. What's that supposed to mean? Where did you pull this image from? Me. This is from one of Jack's recent memory logs. Recent memory logs? It's difficult to explain. It may or may not involve time travel. I'm sorry, what? We can parse out the details later. Right now, Doctor, you do realize what this could mean. Solution. Solution to what? Will someone please tell me what the hell's going on? Right. Come with me. Oh, now he wants to talk to us? Now we're important enough to know shit. Oh, he's got one. You're studying these weapons, these bio torpedoes. They're, they're not weapons so much as incubators. Inside each one is a sampling of the biomass based genetic material. The infection in, in its purest form. All you need to know is this. If I could manage to sequence this material, I am confident I could develop a means to eliminate the biomass. You're saying a cure? It's what I've been searching for. But every torpedo I've encountered has been detonated. I've never seen one with its payload still intact. But I have. If that's true, then you may have just found the key to saving what's left of humanity. Dr. Harlan? I'm afraid we may have more pressing matters. Juno's right. Energy reserves are dipping into the red. I suggest we table this conversation until we find a way to restore the station's generator. Perhaps there's something we can do. <sighs> Dr. Harlan? This is the part where you ask us for help. How do we fix the generator? Fixing the generator isn't the problem. The problem is getting to it. The generator facility is not accessible from within the station. You need to approach from the exterior. Search the outer hull for a way inside. With a few improvements, you should have no trouble at all. Where do we start? Well, obviously, you're going to need a new shell. I will? Well, you can't go venturing out to the generator in that relic you're housed in now. No offense intended, of course. Of course. Is this really necessary? Transferring Jack to a newer shell will allow him to more easily interface with the station's various systems, as well as drastically improve his ability to maneuver in open space. Not to mention... All right. Fine. So long as it's not too much of a strain on our power reserves. This way, Jack. I'm gonna get anybody. I have already identified a shell design I believe you'll find satisfactory. It was originally meant for rapid emergency response. The base design includes enhanced speed and durability, as well as a data link compatible with the station's architecture. Is it the Delta 13 that I was? Where'd you go? Oh, down here? Oh, the fabricator. I've already uploaded the shell's blueprints. It'll only take a moment to complete fabrication. This looks familiar. I've already adjusted the shell's underlying design to account for the particulars of Jack's neural matrix. All you'll need to do is shut yourself down so I can transfer your processes to the new shell. Oh, that's all, is it? Don't worry, Captain. The transfer will be seamless. We doing it? Construction complete. Mm -hmm. The new shell is prepped for transfer. Oh, hey! It looks like him. Yes, I incorporated Jack's existing facial structure into the shell's design. So I thought it to look might at his help beautiful distinguish face. Him. He is Just quite a little bit longer. 
Jack, you're clear to initiate the shutdown procedure whenever you're ready. Shields at 95%. Initialize dual matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay. Mapping core protocols to target. Success. Initialize boot sequence. Jack? Jack, look at me. You all right? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who is Jack? Do you know what Liv. the... I'm fine. I was only joking. Oh, God, you had me worried. The transfer worked just as Juno said. It was funny, though, right? Oh, look at my little Hello. body. Well, Jack, I'll say this. You certainly clean up nice. Thank you. I must admit this shell's architecture is much more... spacious than my previous one. Just don't go forgetting where you came from. Now that the transfer is complete, I'd suggest running calibrations to acclimate your software to the new cell. That's actually not a terrible idea. Then it's settled. I'll queue up the appropriate modules. Sit tight, Jack. We'll have you sorted quick enough. All right. Module M201. Boosters! boosters. Yes! <laughs> All right. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. Okay. Use your boost to reach the console ahead. All right, I remember the button. I remember the button. Is it still the same? Yes. There's my boost, Joe. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Yeah! I'm fast now. I was faster than you. Excellent. Calibration module complete. Yes! Braking thrusters. Module Let's go! M160. Oh, my body! Breaking my body's thrusters. over there! Okay. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surfaces. You will continue to slow down for as long as you hold your braking thrusters. We'll practice this in the room ahead. Please meet me there to continue. There are two target zones in this room. Please boost into one of the zones and hold your braking thrusters until you come to a full stop. Success! Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone A. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module J101. Data interfaces. Oh, which one is that? Your new body is capable of equipping multiple tools. In addition to your cutter, you now also have a data link. With it, you can interact with data ports around the station to activate objects or download information. Tap the button under your wrist to open the tool selection interface. Now, grab and pull the data link icon with your other hand. Good. This tool allows you to interact with data ports throughout the station. You can also activate your cutter on your other hand, if you need to use both tools simultaneously. To proceed, move to the data port above the door ahead, and use your data link to activate it. Well done! Please proceed to the room ahead. Some data ports will activate systems throughout the station. Others will allow you to retrieve useful information from the station systems. In this room, you can find a floating data tile and an observation drone. Scan their data ports to proceed. I Calibration did. module complete. <laughs> Please stand by. That's cool. Oh, 
Welcome back, back to the real baby. world, Jack. I'm back. Before you go, I'd like to make use of your new data link. Captain Rhodes? Right. What is this? A data tile left behind by one of the station's scientists. I'd like to see if your scanner can access the information stored inside. Ah, interesting. What was on it? Research notes on the biomass. Anything useful? A list of genetic markers shared between the different biomass forms. That could prove most useful. Jack, if you find any more devices with data ports like this one, be sure to scan them and transmit your findings to me. Will do. I've also added a new data tab to your ARM computer to track what we've recovered. How much data was lost? We don't actually have any way of knowing, but finding more will almost undoubtedly be beneficial towards developing a cure, even if only in a small way. Understood. Anything else, Juno? That should be all for now. Come on out then, Jack. All right. Um, okay. Juno, do you read? Yes, Doctor. Oh. I need you back here to help me pass the You were a good body while data. you lasted. And bring Captain Rhodes with you. I could use her insight as well. We've nearly finished prepping Jack for departure. He's still here? I could have built an entirely new generator by now. Oh, he's an asshole. Get him out of the airlock and then get up here. You weren't exaggerating. This Dr. Harlan is quite irritable. Asshole. Try not to be too hard on him. He has good reason. Hmm. It sounds like there's something I should know. Do you know? Tell him. Tell me what? Dr. Harlan is infected. Infected with what? With the biomass, of course. I don't understand. He seemed perfectly normal. His infection is internal. A result of breathing in microparticles of the biomass. Though we have managed to slow the infection's progress using various treatments developed here at the facility, I fear the doctor may be approaching the final stages of his infection. What happens if he doesn't develop a cure in time? I'm guessing that very question is what's making him so irritable. I hope this might help you better understand why Dr. Harlan is the way he is. His entire life, he's only ever had one goal. Eliminate the biomass. Preserve what's left of humanity. Thanks to you, for the first time in, well, quite a while, we appear to be making progress. Whatever I can do to help. You can start by restoring the generator. Lead on. Cycling the airlock now. Ready to depart. Heart seal. Ready to cycle. Wait a second, Juno. Jack, listen. There's something else. Captain Rhodes, maybe now isn't the best time. I'm not about to send him out there with only half the story. Liv, what is it? You remember... on the Astraea? When you saved my life by repressurizing the bridge? Liv, what are you saying? The oxygen that flooded into the bridge was contaminated. Dr. Harlan's already run a test to confirm. The infection's in my system. No. Jack, listen to me. The contaminants were microscopic. There was no way you could have known. No, I cleared the vents. Yes, you did. And if you hadn't, I'd have been dead almost instantly. Are you alright? Are you experiencing any pain? No. I'm fine. I'm not feeling any effects at all. Currently, the captain's infection is dormant. It takes time, often years, for the biomass to shut down the human body. What's more, her particular strain of the infection is less aggressive than Dr. Harlan's. Perhaps due to her having acquired it in the past. The best thing we can do right now, the only thing, is help Dr. Harlan develop his cure. We do that, all our problems are solved. Okay. Technically, not all of them. Shut up. You'll still be stuck all in the them. wrong time. Yes. Thank you, Juno. Get to the generator. Stabilize the power grid. Hopefully, by then, we'll have come up with an idea for what's next. Liv, I promise. I will make this right. Nothing to make right, Jack. This isn't your fault. Now off you go. Good luck. 
Commencing depressurization. Oh, that was so heartfelt. I felt it in my soul. All right, let me out so I can go save my homie. Depressurization complete. Exiting airlock. How do I reach the generator? The generator facility should be just up ahead as you exit. Copy that. Wow. This don't get old. Not even like a little bit. It's my shadow. It's my shadow. I'll mark the destination for you. Juno, pull the FTL's output log. Starting a few minutes back from the accident. What are you looking for? If your android is right and the FTL accident really did create a temporal anomaly, then we should see clear evidence of the event in the output data. FTL drives don't normally rip open tunnels through time. Not according to our experience. Guess we're just lucky. Maybe not. Juno, show us readings from the moment the ticks made contact with the drive. There. This resonance. The FTL shouldn't be creating a displacement with this signature and nowhere near this magnitude. Then it's the biomass. Has to be. It's causing some sort of reaction in the drive. We'll need to run some simulations. Let's get to it then. Jack, we'll be on standby. Acknowledged. I've located the entrance. Unfortunately, it seems the airlock is offline, most likely due to the power failure. An alternate access method will be required. Of Does course. that mean there's another way in? Station blueprints show an access hatch on the facility's exterior. Look for a small rectangular hatch with a red cover. Copy that. I'll take a look outside. I feel like there's going to be a lot of those. Alright. Here we go. 